This is Mrs. K here, and today we're going to talk about population ecology, or how populations can change um, and grow bigger or smaller. Um, there's a few words that you need to know about before we actually get into the meat, into the meat of the content. Um, the first is a population. A population is a group of living things that live close enough to each other to reproduce. Um, so, obviously, in order to reproduce, those living things have to be the same species. For example, a dog can't reproduce with a cat. Um, but organisms that are in the same dog's um, population are dogs that live close enough that that dog can mate with them. For example, um, if you have a, a dog, um, that dog's population probably consists of the surrounding neighborhoods, but probably not all the way to California um, because those dogs aren't close enough to reproduce. So a population is a group of living things that are close enough that they can reproduce with one another. Um, our next word is an abiotic factor. One thing to note is that whenever you see the word a or the letter A in front of a phrase, that means not. Okay, biotic means alive. So abiotic means not alive. So abiotic factors are non-living things in an environment. So abiotic factors are things in the environment that are not alive. Um, let's look at some examples. Water, oxygen, gas, pollution, sand, and the changing temperature are all abiotic factors. Um, if we're talking about abiotic factors in the classroom, we could say the light um, or the desk. Um, or the stone floor. So anything like that would be an abiotic factor. Biotic factors are living things in an environment. So remember if we put an A in front of it that means non-living but just biotic is a living thing. So some examples of biotic factors are bacteria, grass, fleas, and other people. So anything that's alive is considered um, a biotic factor. So now let's look at how populations can grow, or not grow, over time. Um, exponential growth is caused when resources are unlimited. This is when a population just keeps growing and growing and growing and growing and growing and getting bigger over time because there's no limit on the, those resources that that population has. Um, in that case, if we plot um, the number of organisms in time and look at that relationship, we'll see that the population just keeps growing and growing and growing all the way to infinity. And that only happens if there's an unlimited amount of resources. And we see that this is called a J-curve because it kind of looks like the letter J. Okay, So our J-curve is exponential growth when there's plenty of resources. Now, there usually aren't or there isn't an infinite amount of resources. Um, and then the population just can't keep growing. And that's called limited growth. Limited growth is when or what happens when resources are limited, when there's not enough of something for the population just to keep growing and growing and growing. Um, in that case, the population kind of looks like exponential growth, but then it eventually levels off at a certain point. Okay? The place at which it levels off is called the carrying capacity. The carrying capacity is the limit to how big a population can get. Okay? So um, if there's a lot of resources, the carrying capacity would be really high, but if there is a very low amount of resources, the carrying capacity would be lower. For example, in the winter, um, there's not as many plants growing that animals can eat, so the carrying capacity is lower, but in the summer, more of those plants grow, so the carrying capacity increases and gets higher. Um, one thing to note is that whatever this uh, resource is that there's not enough of is called a limiting factor. So a limiting factor is anything, um, any resource that's in short supply, a resource that there's not enough of. Um, for example, if you're in a desert, the limiting resource would be water because there's not a lot of water in a desert. Um, and again, we call this limited growth. We sometimes call it an S curve because it kind of looks like an S. So unlimited growth uh, is a J curve and limited growth is an S curve. Thank you.